Hey, what is up, y'all? Uh, so I want to make a quick video just kind of framing what are flash loans, if you are not familiar with them, if you don't know where they originated from. So you can have a little more context on kind of what has happened in these last couple of days. And what I am specifically referencing is the flash loans that happened uh, on Friday night at ETH Denver, where a uh, developer or a team or a team of traders, developer traders, um, essentially leveraged uh, the Ave Ave flash loans and found a manipulation in another smart contract to get around uh, some of the logic and how they basically uh, were able to get a lot of ETH using that, that those tactics. Um, and so I'm not going to talk specifically about the hack or like, you know, how that went down. There's plenty of smart people that can give you more detailed explanations, but this is just meant to be an introduction to like the concepts behind this and where you can find out more about the information and more about this protocol. So about a month ago, I asked the question, because Aave, Aave, Aave flash loans uh, are very new. They're just a recent introduction to the ecosystem. They happened a little bit after New Year's. So I don't think people really knew like what this, what these effects would have on the ecosystem. And I posed the questions like, will only whales benefit this from this uh, introduction of this technology or will it be creative developers and traders? Is like a DAO optimal in this situation for, I don't know, better managing like arbitrage strategies, right? There's like a ton of questions. Um, but I think this weekend, specifically Friday night, ETH Denver kind of like answered one of one of those big questions. It's like, yes, creative developers and traders will benefit from these new Aave flash loans. They will be able to see the ecosystem and the opportunities and the ability to re-leverage assets in ways that I think, you know, your average trader, um, your average person just are not able to understand and so, you know, it's yet to be told what will happen, you know, if other people will benefit. But for now, it seems like the clear leader uh, and winner will be these creative developers and traders. So if you want to know a little bit more of like the technicals and how you can start, you know, thinking about this protocol um, in a new way and seeing the ways that you can think about flash loans and you can use re-leverage assets uh, to basically find these DeFi opportunities within the ecosystem. The best way to go look is at the Aave uh, website, the developers.ave.com. And on this page, specifically the lending pool section, you'll find information about flash loans where you're able to re-leverage assets that are in a liquidity pool. And I won't go into like too depth because you know I'm not super familiar with the, the fundamentals of the protocol, but I can tell you at a high level, what it allows you to do is take that, take those assets and use them uh, in different parts of the ecosystem. So what I mean by that, maybe there's, uh, you wanna go to Compound, you wanna go to the Synthetics protocol, you wanna go to maybe other protocols and use that liquidity to do interesting things in the DeFi environment. But within that same block, like within that same transaction, you need to move back the assets that you used back into the Aave uh, lending pool. And if you don't move them back, then that transaction will just fail, right? So you either A, get access to the liquidity and go do something interesting with that or in one block, or B, you don't do anything interesting and you can't leverage something and that transaction fails and you just pay for the gas spent. So in summary, like this, is an, a, a really interesting and fascinating way for people who don't have access to these large amounts of capital to find these arbitrage opportunities within the ecosystem to to re-leverage perhaps you know these bugs that are going to emerge uh, within smart contracts and I think this will really shine a light on what happens when you have multi multiple protocols living like in a single ecosystem and what are the side effects of you know what happens when they come together and they're used in ways that maybe nobody's really thinking about and teams aren't thinking about because we just haven't been exposed to those pressures um, so it just feels like this you know this flash loan kind of functionality is really going to push the ecosystem forward in like interesting ways because it's going to pressure test uh, smart contracts to be in a multi protocol environment and to think about these long-term side effects and if we're going to have security like in decentralized finance in these open finance protocols it's going to take a more um, long tail view and i think just understanding the complexity of these really major side effects when you have open finance in a public environment like you know we're not going to think of everything and it's important that we stress test and i think you know just to end to wrap this up is 
If you're interested in learning more about the technicals of how what just happened and how maybe you can think about using flash loans, uh, go to developers.ave.com. I'm not associated with them. Um, I'm just, you know, I think, uh, yeah, great place to start and go check out and start thinking about how you are going to incorporate flash loans and this ability to leverage liquidity that you may not have access to uh, in interesting ways in your future decentralized finance application.